Hello everyone, it's Charlton. All right, so I want to just quickly update you because I got a roll, man. And, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know. Um, I mean, it seems like it's getting a little serious just in the number of devices that are sort of popping up all at once. The Time Warner building or Time Warner Center where CNN broadcasts, you know, their studio in New York. Um, they've had to evacuate because of a suspicious device, uh, a suspicious package, potentially a, an explosive device in the mail room. So similar to what I just talked about, uh, sent to Obama's, uh, in, in Washington, DC and also the Clintons in Chappaqua, New York, Northern New York. So, and, uh, it is saying a p potential explosive devices, you know, we're, it's too soon if they're, we're going to know they're the same as, um, the same as the thing that was sent to the billionaire, li liberal billionaire, George Soros, which was more or less like a crude pipe bomb. It was a real device though. It wasn't a fake. It was an actual, you know, bomb explosive device that they detonated themselves in the woods. Uh, I think the, um, I don't know who did that, the ATF or the FBI, this is the billionaire's home. So, and I don't know if that's sim they're similar in nature. It sounds to me like they are. There's a fair amount of reporting going on at Fox. They seem to be on the story pretty st – and, and, and CNN. And CNN is – they're playing up the drama a little bit. You little, little – I mean, you know, but I, it's a little scary. So they've uh, – you have Poppy Harlow and Jim Shuto out in the street reporting from their phones in conjunction with Wolf Witzer because they've jumped to a different studio. I don't know where he is, you know, because they've all been evacuated from, from the building. And the bomb squad's on the way there to deal with it. There's, you know, the, uh, um, what is it? Emergency personnel, ambulances showing up and stuff like that. You know, um, one thing that is these, these seem to have been sent through, I don't know about the CNN one. The CN, I don't know about the CNN one, but the one sent to the Obamas in Washington, D.C. and the one sent to the Clintons uh, seem to, I think, I believe it came through the mail, you know, whereas the George Soros one, the reports are that it was just put into the mailbox, like hand delivered by somebody, which, you know, he lives in an extremely exclusive, wealthy area where it's gated community. Somebody made that comment uh, in the comments, and, and I agree. So that's not the easiest thing in the world to do. Besides, it's extremely, you know, in terms of getting busted. Sending three things through the mail. I mean, you're almost, you know, certain to be caught because they just have a number of different ways to track that. But it seems as though the packages sent that are potentially explosive devices to the Clintons, to the Obamas, and, and now. Um, it, it, you know, and to the CNN Time Warner Center, it seems that it came through the mail because the explosive device or the potential explosive device in the Time Warner Center is in the mail room. So there's that. And um, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the update. It is. There was something else I had that had to say. But let me quickly uh, cruise through some of the, the report here. I mean, this is like brand new, brand new. So city police department is investigating a report of a suspicious device delivered to the building where CNN's broadcast originates. CNN's report, uh, CNN is reporting the time warning building has been evacuated because of the device that is unknown at this time. What is in the package or if the package was meant for someone else in the building at 10 Columbus circle, CNN anchors, Jim, Jim Shuto and Poppy Harlow con were conducting an interview about explosive devices found at the Clinton's home in New York and former president Barack Obama home in New Washington DC in the White House in the White House uh, in the White House when the building's fire alarms were set off wow New York bomb squad is on the scene looking at the package areas around Time Warner building have been blocked off and they keep being being pushed back further and further I have CNN on run right now so one more and then I'm just going to wrap this up uh, CNN's New York offices have been evacuated after a suspicious p device, according to multiple, multiple reports. According to CNN, the New York uh, Police Department is investigating a suspicious device at Time Warner Building, where New York's offices are located. The incident comes as Secret Service announced Wednesday morning they intercepted ex improvised, improvised explosive devices sent to the former President Bill Clinton and Barack Obama. So, and I am hearing that, that, you know, somebody who was saying their sources were saying that they, is, right now, they're hearing it was an improvised explosive device. I don't know if it's exactly like the pipe bomb that was sent to George Soros or not. And the other thing that I just remember what I forgot is that this same person who seemed to be like a law enforcement expert of some kind was saying that they don't really scream for that in the post office. He almost seemed a little reluctant to kind of put that information out there. I'm sure that's not hard to find. It's, it's just, you know, 
public knowledge, but the, the, the post office does not screen for for those things. So it only gets it only gets detected once it actually arrives to the mail rooms of these you know these various uh, important persons. And that's the story there, man. I'm going to leave it there. I got to roll. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Pretty please with sugar on top. And uh, give me a like down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Later, man.